Hey guys, I'm Cody at Irvine Past Life Pro, and let me start this video off with a question. Are you struggling with understanding decimals? More specifically, which decimal number is lesser or greater? The thought for this kind of tutorial slash lesson came to me when I was changing around some decimal values for an upcoming shader tutorial. With just that thought, I was thrust into something of a daydream-like state where I could suddenly see very clearly on my high school years of math teachers, the tests I had to deal with, the I want to die expression on my face as I worked out the problems, I began to relive it all. And at some point, those decimal number problems, they came to mind. I began to recall how I couldn't for the life of me grasp which decimal numbers were greater or lesser than others. Just as I realized this, I rushed to the internet to test myself. Amazingly, I could accurately tell that 0.2 was indeed greater than 0.15, just by looking at it. Having gone through this annoying turn of events completely, I'd like to help those of you who may be struggling just as I had been. I know for messing around with shader code, understanding decimal numbers is incredibly useful, especially for getting really detailed into the values you'd like to add in. So I hope you get some of this. Anyways, let's begin. All right, here are the ground rules. Rule number one, only focus on the number that's before the decimal and the number that's after. That's how you tell the difference in size. Rule number two, the text in the video should illustrate this best. When pressed up against another number, all blank spaces are read as zeros. This is just something you gotta remember. Okay, to best get you to learn, I think it best if I walked you through some problems. My friends, which one is greater? Alright, just by looking at it, we've got a 0.2 and a 0.1 with some numbers following. 2 is greater than 1, so my answer? 0.2 is greater than 0.199. Okay, I know what you must be thinking. In all caps, HOW? Well, the trouble that most people face is they think they're dealing with a 2 in the face of a 199, when it is really a 200 against a 199. This is an example of where rule number 2 is applied. Ooh, a similar problem. But even for me, it does mess around with my head a little. Alright, let's analyze the problem. Both are again starting with zeros, so they're the same size. Both have twos, after the decimal, still the same. Both have sixes, still the same. And now we come to this part, where the first number has nothing, and the second one has a seven. Let's apply rule number two's advice to the first one. So, 0 0.260 and 0 0.267. The second number has seven more than the other. So 0 0.267 is the greater number. All right, let's pull a hard one. Same as before, let's analyze the problem. This time, both starting numbers begin with 21. So none have passed each other. Both have eights after the decimal, still the same. Here's where we come to the difference in numbers. The first one has an eight, whereas the second has a one. At this point, go no further. 8 is greater than 1. So, 21.889 is the greater number. Second to the last one. Though I hadn't needed to work with any negative numbers in shader code, I still think it's worth teaching you how to get through one of those kinds of problems as well. So, tell me, which one is greater? I'm introducing another rule. Rule number three, if it's not obvious at the start, then leave thinking about the negative sign or the end. In this case, it is very obvious. 29.7, the number without the negative sign, is without a doubt the greater number. Whatever number is plagued with the negative sign is always the lesser number, when paired with a positive number. Last one, let's go to the extreme on this one. What if I were to introduce two negative signs into the problem? 
In this case, it's not exactly obvious on which one is greater, so it's best to treat the two numbers as positives for now. This may be quite a lot more difficult, but let's analyze the problem all the same. Both starting numbers begin with 465, so they're the same. Just past the decimal, both have fives, so no difference yet. Both have sixes. And here's where we come to the differing numbers. First number is a four, and the second number is, after we've applied rule number two's advice, a zero. Four is greater than zero, so 465.564 is the greater number. Step two, let's bring down the negative signs. Here's what we know. The first number is greater than the second without the negative signs included. When it is included, does it make any difference? In this case, it does because when a greater number goes negative, it means it's way deeper in the negatives. I guess the kind of rule you could remember is if the greater number goes negative, it's always the lesser number. So, my friends, it's been a good run. Negative 465.56 is indeed the greater number. All right, now that we're at the end, hopefully now you've learned a thing or two on differentiating which decimal numbers are greater than others. I know for school slash test problems where you have to deal with this, it is good to know, you know, so you can get out of high school, but more so for my use with Minecraft shaders, that's where I found this stuff to be genuinely useful. As always, with my tutorials, if you have any questions, then do leave them in the comment section down below. If this Past Life Pro tutorial on decimal numbers was of any use to you, then do with that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!